Alright, so here we have the box. Uh, nothing too extravagant. It has false seal on the front. OBD2 professional solution. Um, some contact information if you wanted uh, some support. We have a few specs on the back here. Just a small little box. Uh, so we open it here. We have the scanner right off the bat. And yeah, it's basically all you need. Now this does work off of Wi-Fi, so you will need a phone. This one in particular does work with iOS and Android, so we'll get to that in a second here. But yeah, that's basically it. Alright, so this is the product we, we have here. Uh, this is their new improved version. Uh, from all I know, it's just it was made with better components. Um, so it passes EMC certification, ROHS certification, and FCC certification. Um, I'm pretty sure those are for other states that do need and require those certifications. So if that's something you need, well, this can do that for you. Uh, this one in particular, OBD2 works with 90, 1996 and newer vehicles in the United States. So pretty much works for all your newer types of vehicles. Um, and this one, is especially, I like. So with this one, I decided to just you know take a chance and go for it because I heard that some of them don't actually work well um, this one in particular does and I've and we'll take a look at it in a second here um, but yeah that's this is the product in itself kinda of showed you guys a little bit and what's really nice about this one is that it has little LEDs so it tells you when it's actually working compared to some of the older ones that didn't um, so that's pretty nice and yeah this is someone you can read all the diagnostics off your car so for example like this person's looking at the intake the load percentage their fuel percentage their coolant uh, temperature it's pretty nice and you can always just have it on your dash and these are the some of the you can use this scanner with a few different apps but I highly recommend using OBD Fusion uh, take a look at it in a second but it's really nice um, basically the whole thing of it is just you plug it into your little scanner port inside of your vehicle it'll be in on most vehicles it will be under this the steering wheel and the driver's side like under the dash around this area um, and it connects through Wi-Fi through your phone and your phone doesn't have to be plugged in or anything it just has to be connected to the Wi-Fi that the scanner itself makes and from there you just go to the app and you connect to it it's pretty easy alright so here we have the faux seal uh, we're gonna test it out here how it works um, so all you need is the scanner itself and a phone and so let's get started here now you do have to plug this in down over here and once you plug it in you are gonna see the little LED light up to show that it has power meaning it's plugged in all right so all you have to do is put it on the on position when it once it's plugged in you should see the light blinking on there it should be red showing that it's, it has power now we're just going to go into our app here and let me brightness is all the way up and to easily connect to it all you do is click connect and we are using obd fusion for this uh, I highly recommend it. It is $10. You can use the variant OBD Doctor, but I honestly don't think you get that much out of it. So I'd highly recommend getting the $10 OBD Fusion. Now it says this is the first time I've used it with this vehicle. Uh, you want to hit yes. So you can actually apply it to it. And then we'll just give it a name. This is a 2006 Nissan 350Z. So let's just call it 350Z. Um, and then we just scroll down and then you can edit all of these if you'd like to but uh, I'm not gonna take the time to do it right now and then we should just be able to hit back okay so now that we can see it that it is connected we can use the OBD2 scanner for everything uh, we do have diagnostics here so I currently don't have any um, check engine lights it will scan it for a little bit it does take some time but just make sure to let it finish as you can see here it's giving me the green checks meaning that there are no trouble codes detected 
let's go back here now we can go into the dashboards now this gives you a bunch of diagnostics from your car um, you can see many different things like you can just have this running in your car you'll be able to see your miles per hour so for example if you have an odometer that doesn't work it's kind of nice to have this handy you just keep it plugged in and then just have it somewhere on your dash to tell you the speed that you're going at uh, here we have the engine temperature your rpms your math and fuel ratio battery you have just many different things and then these are uh, customizable so if you don't want to see some of these if you do want to see some of them different things you can do you can customize like the order as well now you do also have a boost gauge and this is just uh, from uh, from default these are what you get and now if you like hold on to it you can do like size and location display configuration just many different things um, just something to play around with I guess and once we go back here now this is kind of useful too if you have a maps so you can log your trip and stuff like that um, I don't know if that many people will use it but it's kind of nice to have it uh, we have some monitors over here um, so we're gonna take a little bit of time to read the data All right, so now that it's done reading the radar, the data, sorry, um, we can see all the tests. Whether, for example, for the first one we have here is a misfire. Um, is it available? Yes. Is it complete? Uh, yes. Uh, but usually, it, it just the available means like does can your car have this kind of thing? So can your car have a heated catalyst? Is it available? No. And once the if the test is complete or not um, usually if your car doesn't have it it won't run a test for it for obvious reasons and yeah and then what is kinda cool about this as well is you can measure the performance of your car so if you wanted to find out the 0 to 60 on your car you can log that through this so all you have to do is basically just have this open and then as it says right here it says accelerate to begin and it'll just automatically like start timing it and it'll give you the different measurements down here but yeah the most uh, the biggest reason people actually get this application in the scanner is so that you can read the trouble codes and that's really comes in handy because it gives you um, details of the trouble codes I currently don't have any but um, I will link down in the description uh, some examples of some different types of trouble codes and yeah I mean there's different many different settings that you can play around with and set this up but that's basically it